Hey YouTube, this is just called Stu. Just going to show you a tutorial about how to add an X-ray image. Uh, someone holding their own X-ray, which is kind of it's kind of it's kind of a cool effect. And if you can put some time into it, it works out really well. Um, just before we get started, if you can, please go check out my uh, channel and subscribe. And so I try to put up new videos every day, and you can uh, be the first to know. So right now I'm just going to take on my quick selection tool. And I'm just going to select the, my uh, my guy right here. I got pretty lucky finding this picture because it's on a white background, and so it was pretty easy to select. And as you can see here, it cut off his ear just a little bit. And so I'm going to go into quick mask mode right here. And so quick, what quick mask mode does, quick mask mode, is it turns everything that's deselected <coughs> red and everything that's selected white. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to select my white foreground color right here. And I'm just going to go over his ear. And so I can uh, get some of his ear back right there. And so quick mask mode is good because um, it automatically deals with the hardness for you and it makes your edges a little bit better. And you can see here there's a little something I don't want. Oops, I'll switch back to black. And you can just hotkey X for that, and so you don't have to um, go and click the arrow. And then we don't want this. Cool, looks good. Um, so we can get out of quick mask mode by either clicking down here below the foreground and background color or clicking Q. So just click Q right there, and then we'll <coughs> make that smaller, and we'll take our city street that we want. Or I want a city, I just chose a city street, you don't have to. And then you click over here, and just pull him. And this says something about the colors, you don't really, it doesn't really matter, just no worries about it. Just click OK, it turns out good anyway. And then position him where you think he's standing on the street. Eh, it doesn't look too bad, okay. Click good. And the next thing we are going to do is we got to get rid of these wide edges. And so I'm going to select him by clicking Control and let on the layer thumbnail, and so it selects him. And then I'm going to go select uh, Refine Edge, and then uh, let's see here. And so you can see these wide edges, and there's a couple different options. There's you can see the background. You can be in quick mask mode. You can have a black background, a white background, or kind of like a mask, which previews the section. But I want this back background so I can see the whites clearly. And so I'm just going to contract these edges. And as you can see here, the whites are going away a little bit. I have a feather. Um, smoothness. Yeah, you don't really need to deal with the smoothness. Contrast will just make things more, like, more, uh, more pixelated, <coughs> which, is really, which isn't really what you want. So turn the contrast pretty down. It will just f uh, soften things, or fuzzy things up a bit. Cool. Looks good. And, um, yeah. All right. Click OK. And then um, if we took out our eraser tool to erase the edges right now, we'd be erasing him, which is what we don't want. And so just click Control Shift I, and then it'll select, it'll erase everything but him on that layer. So you can just go around and erase those edges that we didn't want before. Then uh, deselect him. Next thing I want to do is I want to select this whiteboard. So I'm going to take on my quick selection tool again, and I'm just going to select this whiteboard. And as you can see, it um, took it got some edges that you know maybe we don't want, like right here. And so I took out my rectangular marquee tool, and if you click Alt, you see a little minus by it, right? a little minus by the tool sign, and so that'll deselect whatever you select. And so I'm just going to go over these edges, and I like the rectangle where I keep because it's just a nice straight line. And I'm just going to deselect the areas that I'm selecting. Deselect. Cool. Looks good. Maybe one little more right here. And we'll mess around. What's wrong with the rest of this layer? If you really want to, you can come in with your lasso tool, click Alt, and then just get rid of those little sections right there. Cool. Next thing we're going to do is uh, I want to have a just a little bit of a border. So we're going to go Select, and then we're going to go Refine Edge, and then I want to see the background on this one, though. And then we're just going to contract it, and you can see it's getting more and more contracted right there. Looks good. Feather all the way down. Um, 
All right, so now there's a little bit of a white border all the way around. And the next thing, uh, I want to keep his hands though, so I'm going to go in quick mask mode. I'm going to pull up my brush, make sure I have black as my foreground color, and I'm just going to select his hands, or his fingers. And it's, again, the quick mask mode is good because it'll refine the edges for you, and it will, like, you can adjust the hardness pretty easily, and you don't have to mess with other settings. And so just select his fingers. Cool. Go over to the other side. And to move quickly uh, on the map, I just hold down space, and then it brings up your little grabber tool, and then you can grab and go over wherever, wherever you want. Really convenient for moving around quickly. And I suggest going around the edges. You know, like you learned in, I remember learning in kindergarten. Go around the edges, it's easier. Cool. So now you can see this whiteboard is pretty much the only thing selected. Um, what what I want to do with this is just so I can have it for later. I want to s go to the select and then go save selection, and we'll call this sign. And then so it'll save the selection for later. So even if you deselect it, it's no big deal because you can just come back to it. Next thing we're going to do is bring in our chest X-ray, and so I'm just going to select everything, Control A and then click out, bring out my move tool, or you can click V, and then just bring it right over, and then give me the color thing again, no worries, so click, click OK. And then we'll just be in here, and then, so I want to turn this opacity kind of down, and so I can see what I'm working with, and I'm <coughs> going to match this up with the guy. And so this x-ray is not a great example, because it doesn't have too much of his lower body, and the sign covers some of his lower body, <coughs> but it'll be okay. So. It might be just a touch bigger than it should be, but when you guys do this, just make sure you do it the right way. And then I'm just going to pull this down. And so I know this is out of proportion, but this is just for the just to show you. Click OK. And then I want to load this selection again. So I'm going to say load selection. And then if you go channel, and if you click sign right here, and then you go OK. And then so it'll select that uh, th uh, sign again. And I'm going to click a mask on the x-ray layer and so you can see here this is the mask that I just made and this is the x-ray and if you unlink these two which is that little um looks like a chain right there so if you unlink those two and you so you can move this x-ray around and it'll only stay on the sign which is a pretty cool and so we'll just move him right there you know his look at his ribs they're going you know down by his waist but it'll be okay cool um, Next thing we are going to do is come up with the city street. I want to make a copy of the city street, and then I'm going to select this mask just so I can um, have this ma uh, sign selected. Then I'm going to go to my guy, take out my eraser tool, and I'm going to erase the sign. And so we just erase this sign right here. And so now it looks like he's you know almost getting invisible. And then I'm going to select this background layer that I just made, messed with. I'm going to go image, levels, and I'm going to darken it up a whole lot. And I'm going to, I just kind of want this, uh, I just kind of want a, like an x-ray kind of feel, you know, an x-ray effect feel. So darken it up, get some highlights in there. That looks good, looks fine. And x-rays are obviously black and white, and so go image adjustments and then desaturate, which will take away the color. And then one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, come over here to this mask and I'm going to select my uh, black brush, which will black conceals white reveals, and so it'll get rid of it, and so harden this up, and I'm just going to come and refine these edges right here, according to the guy. And so it doesn't look so sharp. Deselect that. And so now you can see the x-ray is a little, little off, but this uh, doesn't look, I mean, doesn't look too bad. I'm sure you could do a couple more things to fix the levels and fix everything in there, but yeah, so that's pretty much the tutorial. I hope that <coughs> it worked out for you. You could just come and see these layers. See, we got layer number, there's our guy, there's our x-ray, there's our city, and you can see I only adjusted that part because that's the only part that was selected, so that's why it's only, that's the only part that's messed up. And um, there you go. So I hope you had a good tutorial. Message me with any further topics, and please subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.